entrepreneurial and investor interest through this slump? Yeah, it hasn't slumped at all, really, in terms of entrepreneurial activity. I mean, the number of new pitches, I mean, we operate a venture capital fund that invests in both digital assets and the companies, and we see more and more companies coming in every day and higher quality entrepreneurs as well. I mean, I think that behind the scenes, when we think about Bitcoin as an asset, we think about the, this vortex of a macro environment with um, rising debt levels at all-time high, money printing, um, this tension kind of between nationalism and globalism. Um, and then this notion of jurisdictional competition, I think there's a strong case to be made that Bitcoin is the most compelling asset in the world right now. Mike, where is the new demand going to come from? Well, a lot of people are looking at institutions, and I think institutions might look at Bitcoin as a proxy for digital gold. Those institutions that might buy gold might diversify portfolios with Bitcoin, but the rest of the space are technically cryptocurrencies and they still trade like speculative digital assets. So that's still a little bit far away, but I think that's where you have to differentiate the difference. People are looking for institutions. Bitcoin's attractive. I mean, it's getting that way, but I still, gold is a better, more attractive investment than Bitcoin at its current levels. So, Spencer, where do you think the demand is going? To so he makes a good point where if you're going to invest in Bitcoin, I think it would be foolish not to also invest in gold and vice versa. I do believe in diversification and both uh, the argument for Bitcoin and gold is fine, but I feel like the real mistake would be not taking advantage of buying into both, especially to hedge yourself against the stock market risk. And uh, gold has been showing great signs of growth. And it does look like crypto might be taking much longer to recover from its bear market than gold. But for me personally, I own both. I think both are good stores of value and a good way to hedge. I definitely own a lot more Bitcoin than I do old gold, but that was kind of a mistake of mine and a regret. I was very, very bullish on cryptocurrencies. And even now, as I increase my cryptocurrency position, I'm still making sure to have money invested in gold as well. And uh, not just gold, I also own other precious metals like silver and palladium. So I do recommend that you have a diverse portfolio and it will really protect you against uh, unforeseen movements in the market. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.